Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson Surgical Operations Squadron offers full surgical specialty capabilities for general surgery, orthopedics, podiatry, obstetrics, gynecology, urology, oral and maxofacial surgery, orthorhinology, and ophthalmology services. This video will help you understand more of what to expect at J. Bear Hospital on your day of surgery. At your surgeon appointment, you will discuss your concerns and have your questions answered regarding your planned surgery. The surgeon will explain the details of the procedure, the risk, the benefits, and alternatives to surgery. He will review your medications, medical history, and screen you for obstructive sleep apnea. After all your concerns are answered, the surgeon will sign the consent form with you. He will then refer you to any additional test studies, such as chest x-ray, labs, EKG, prior to your pre-op appointment. After your visit with your surgeon, you'll be scheduled and seen at the pre-op clinic. A nurse will sit down with you, review your medical record, and give you specific instructions to follow prior to your surgery day. Our nurse will ask about your medical history, current medications, including any allergies you may have and any symptoms or pain you may be having. During this time, it is your opportunity to ask any questions you may have regarding your surgery and the plan of care in order to help you understand your treatment. Our nurse will go over some instructions with you, such as when you should stop having foods and drinks, when you should call for your show time, and what you need to bring on the day of surgery. On the day of surgery, you will arrive and check in to the perianesthesia unit. You will be required to present your photo ID at check-in. Here, you'll be asked to change into a gown, remove all undergarments, jewelry, glasses, dentures, and hearing aids. We will review your medical history, and you'll be given a wristband, which will have your name and date of birth. This will serve as your form of identification while you're in the operating room. Our staff will reassess you and start an IV. This IV will be used to give you the medications and fluids that will assist you in the operating room. You will now be wheeled into the pre-operative holding area where you will meet with the operating room staff that will be taking care of you. Once you arrive in this area, you will be greeted by the pre-operative nurse. In order to ensure the highest level of patient safety, your staff will again verify your name and date of birth, social security number, surgical site, and surgical procedure. We will verify your information frequently to ensure we meet the optimal safety and care you deserve. In this area, the team, which includes your surgeon, anesthesiologist, nurse, and technician will go over the universal protocol checklist and site marking. After meeting the OR team, you will go back into the room where they will do a huddle, another form of verification to make sure that they have all of the supplies and equipment needed for your procedure. Once the team has verified this, you'll be wheeled into the operating room by one of our team members. You may notice the nurses and doctors are wearing face masks and plastic eyeglasses, as well as caps, gowns, and booties over their shoes. Patients are vulnerable to infection during an operation. These protective measures lower the chance of infection. Upon arriving into the OR, you will move to the OR bed, where you will be positioned per anesthesia and surgeon preference, as well as your personal comfort. After the skin has been washed with a special solution to remove bacteria, the surgeon will start draping around the incision site. Prior to the incision, the OR team will redo a timeout process as part of our universal protocol for preventing wrong site, wrong procedure, and wrong person surgery. After you are done with your surgery, you will be transferred to the recovery area where the staff will continue to monitor you closely for airway and pain management. You will be here for an average of 45 minutes. However, time can vary based on each patient's pain, nausea, vomiting, vital signs, and level of consciousness. We use a number system for the pain assessment and will be asking you to rate your pain and describe it. Once the patient is doing better and ready to be transferred, you'll move back to the APU where you started for further monitoring. 
Our nurses will review the discharge instruction and pain medication with you and your family prior to going home. You may fill out an ICE comment at the end of your visit to let us know how your experience was and ways for us to improve for the future. We hope that you have a better understanding of the surgery process at Jaber Hospital, where we strive to provide the best possible care for you and your family. Please feel free to contact your healthcare team if you have any questions along the way.